Some Detroit Lions news we got to talk about here on Lions Nation Unite. A lot to go over here. The Lions signed Jalen Rees Maben last night to a deal. We're going to talk about that, what it means for the team. Really special teams, all honesty. Halapluti Vati Vaitai renegotiated his contract and saves the Lions in cap space. Been waiting for this move to happen, and it finally did. And Justin Rogers, a beat writer, dropped an interesting nugget around Jeffrey Okuda. But before we get into today's video, if you're not a subscriber to Lions Nation, I'd go ahead and hit that subscribe button right now. Try and get to 7,000 subscribers, and with your help, it can happen. Also, hit that like button. The more likes we get, the more chance this video gets pushed out there. Let's go ahead and get into the first news here. Jalen Reeves Mabin signed with the Lions after leaving two years ago, went to the Houston Texans, comes back to Detroit. Yes, he is a linebacker, but folks, let's be honest here. Jalen Reeves Mabin is a special teamer. And does this actually mean he make the team? I don't think so. I think this is a 90-man roster type of thing, and they'll fight down to the 53. I know a lot of people were like, come on, we can't have this guy back. He sucks. He's terrible. As a linebacker, he wasn't good. That's for sure. But as special teams, he was really good. And this is the third special team slash linebacker that we have signed because they're trying to make that you know, phase of this team good. And I think they're going to fight it out and – you know, one will not make it, and that could be Jalen Reeves, maybe. And I'm never going to get upset over signing depth players or a special teams player because you have to have 90 men going into camp. That's just the way it is. You got to have players in there that can go into the preseason game, and I'll cut all the way down to the 53. That's just the way it works. So does this mean a whole lot? Not really. I, I, I seen it last night. I could have made a video. I said, what's the point? Is Jalen Rees Mabin. It's a depth signing. Not really worth its own video. So I just figured I'd throw it on this one today. But I don't really care about the signing. We'll see how special teams works there. Let's move on to Big V. Halapaluti Vati Vaitai took a major pay cut in renegotiating the contract, freeing up 7.4 million in cap space. We all have been waiting for this move. This is one of the moves we've been waiting for. That backup quarterback and and Shark Week. So, finally has done it and his base salary will be 3 million dollars, so a massive, you know, drop for for him and his pay because he was getting a ton of money for a guy who has not played at all. So, just like Charles Harris and Romeo Aquara taking a pay cut to stay with the team. If he wouldn't have taken this pay cut, they probably would have cut him. But this is big for the Lions. Cap space adds another 7.4. So the Lions are, right now, I think they're top three, four in cap space in the NFL with this addition to it. This is really good for the Lions. And they got cap space now, still, with all the signings that we did. They got a good amount of cap space next year. They're in good position. And Brad Holmes is being cutthroat. If you want to stay with the Lions, there's a certain amount of money that we're going to give you. And if you don't like that, we're going to go ahead and cut you. He has no problem being cutthroat and going straight to the point. Absolutely love it. When you're in business like he is and you need to make your financials correct in the books, this is what you do. You end up like the New Orleans Saints. You end up like the Los Angeles Rams where you got to cut everybody because they paid everybody massive contracts, and these guys want to take it. So, so good move there. It does still, to me, make Big V the right guard for this football team. Absolutely no doubt about it. But if there is issues with his health, like we have seen in years past, you got Graham Glasgow that can hold that fort up. And I honestly would not be shocked if the Lions took a guard in this year's draft. would be like second or third round, something like that, for another a depth piece for the offensive line because the right side is the big question mark. Can, can V stay healthy? You know, and he hasn't. But this also means that he must be recovered from his back surgery, his issues that he's having. So that's good news right there. You know, look, he's a really good guard if he can stay healthy and be healthy for this football team. It's The problem is he's just not healthy. So, we're all just go ahead and cross your fingers because he's a damn good guard when healthy. He really is. And this offensive line could be scary good if he's on the field for 17 games. So I'm happy to see that, 
you know, he's still here, and, and it sounds like he's getting healthier because he's still on this football team, and I'm very happy that they cut his pay because he it needed to get cut for the amount of money he was making. It just didn't justify him being in this football team. When you have other players like Jonah Jackson always in there, Taylor Decker, Frank Ragno battering through injuries, and Panay Sewell, the guy who always is on the field. And you're having a guy who's making a buku amount of money, and he's not playing. So to me, it's needed to happen, and it's, it's justifiable what they did right there. Let me know in the comment section your thoughts on Big V taking a massive pay cut. Let's get into Justin Rogers here. He did an interview with Matt Derry on Locked On Lions. Go check it out. An interesting nugget about Jeffrey Akuti he talked about because they talked about the additions they did with Gardner Johnson and, you know, Emmanuel Mosley with Cameron Sutton and the DB room being stacked right now. Just absolutely stacked. And they talked about when it shocked if they took a cornerback in this year's draft. High, even though that we did that. So the question is, what about Jeffrey Okuda? Justin Rogers says he does not expect Jeffrey Okuda to be on this roster week one. He talked about the possibility of him getting traded for a fifth or sixth round draft pick. And it would save the Lions money. He believes maybe a general manager out there believes they can fix him. Because in the draft that he was in, a lot of scouts and GMs thought that Jeffrey Okuda was a one of the best cornerbacks to come out for some time. So what he believes is the Lions could ship him out because they're done with it, get uh, some draft capital, and cut some cap space because that's what he is and get rid of Jeffrey Okuda. You know, this is something that T.A. from Raw Detroit, myself, I, there's others too, Let, let's not be honest here. I've I seen it on other websites as well saying that, you know, what's going on with Okuda now? Is, is he going to be tradable? Is he the odd man out? Could you make a jump from 6-3 to three and, and have Okuda be part of the deal to Arizona Cardinals? Because, they, again, they lost Byron Murphy. So the cornerback that went to the Minnesota Vikings. So it makes sense to go ahead and trade Jeffrey Okuda. And I, the speculation blew up after this free agency, as it should have blown up, because him being on, him being on this roster now, making the money that he's making in, compared, in comparison to Cameron Sutton, C.J. Gardner-Johnson, Emmanuel Mosley, Jerry Jacobs, is... Just it's it's not it's not right because he's not he's not the the best right now. He's just not. He's underperformed. He started great in the first four or five weeks of the season last year, and then there it is, the drop off with Akuda happened. And if you're to just go ahead and trade him away, get rid of another Matt Patricia, Bob Quinn player, save money in the cap, and you can just go ahead and draft a cornerback that has a higher upside for the future of this football team than Jeff Okuda. It's just the way that it is. So I agree with that sentiment. I think it's a realistic possibility that Okuda gets traded. And you're not going to get nothing big out of it. Just Rodgers in five, fifth or sixth round, I concur. It's probably what it would be because his lack of production that he did with the Detroit Lions and not performing to a high level. So who would want to, you know, risk anything higher than a fifth or a sixth round pick for something like that and the money that's coming with them? The team then would have an option to pick up the f the fifth-year option. But it just seems inevitable that he is not the future of this football team. It seems inevitable that he's not going to be a Detroit Lion next year and a possibility he's not a Lion this, the, you know, before his week one happens. Just... When you look at everything, it really does look that way for Jeff Okuda. And I, I wish him nothing but the best. I wanted him to succeed in Detroit. I really did. But sometimes it just doesn't work. And it just seems like it's not working right now. Make sure you guys stay uh, and subscribe to Lions Nation Unite. Again, trying to get to 7,000 subscribers. Uh, hit that notification bell for the latest news and rumors regarding our 
Detroit Lions. With that said, folks, adios.